You've heard the saying, when you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Well, that's true for one man who was literally driven by his passion. John Lordson of our Minnesota station, WCCO, has more. There's an old motorcycle proverb that says a bike on the road is worth two in the barn. Unless, of course, the barn belongs to Kevin Backstrand. So you have every model of Indian motorcycle here. Yes, every model of the Indian four-cylinder. Kevin developed a love for motorcycles as a kid. His dad had a Harley, and so did a neighbor. That bike would pull into the curve in the little hill there by dad's, and just the way it cackled. And even that young, I knew someday I was going to have one of them. Kevin doesn't just have one, he has dozens. Five years ago, he and his business partner, Tina Richards, took down a century-old barn and rebuilt it to give Kevin's motorcycles a home. His passion for old wood and motorcycles, um, his dream became a reality. No matter the make and model, all the bikes here have one thing in common. These were what they call a 100 mile an hour motorcycle back in 36. They're vintage, nostalgic, classic, with engine names like Flathead, Panhead, and knucklehead. The first bikes that were built was 1903. They had no computers, no nothing. They just took a piece of paper and a pen and, and built these things. Because of that, finding parts in the 21st century is a challenge. Each year, Kevin goes to swap meets around the country where he and other collectors wheel and deal. This is truly a hobby that's passed down from generation to generation. Yes. It's the thrill of the chase that's so appealing. Turn your fuel on. He can sell three old bikes at a swap meet and come home with four new ones. He's even bought back motorcycles he sold before. No. You don't want a radio for this. No, they they have a sound of their own. It sounds like a Oliver tractor almost. You hit the throttle and just the whole bike torques. It's safe to say that Kevin and Tina are in this for the long haul, all thanks to old bikes and an old bar. I love seeing people's reaction when they come in for the first time because they walk around and it's history. This stuff just don't leave you. It's been great and it's a joy to come to work every day. John Lordson, CBS News, Ortonville, Minnesota.